Well, look at here. We have my first major failure with this new 3D printer. Let's take this thing up on the workbench and see what exactly happened. It's not just the nozzle problem, but it's coming out somewhere on the heat break. It's completely surrounding the wires here. You can really start to see how trapped all these wires are. That's not gonna be fun. I have this vertical screw for the lighter sensor, which I found kind of disappointing. It's kind of like a novelty thing. It's not anything I would really base purchase decision on. So first you have to take the LiDAR sensor, then you have to take off the front shroud. Be careful. That's what happened to the program as it was printing. Oozing out of above the melting zone. You gotta be very careful not to really yank on this thing. Strain on the gantry here. Let's try this way. That's how you fry your uh, your boards, ladies and gentlemen. You stab them with your tools. Here's what I'll show you guys. Me messing up this sock here. And you can really see where I uh, buggered it up. We're gonna turn this guy on and see if I can't heat up the thing at this point. Aha. All right, probably should have done that a little while ago. 45 degrees Celsius. I don't have the fan on it anymore, so it's not gonna be very um, fast on its cool down. I don't see any plastic up in there. So this is the unit. This is the hot end that failed on me. Kind of see where the issue is. You can see how clean this one is, right? Right where the threading, right where this heat break goes into the heating element. Look at all that. Look, look at all that. So this is most definitely probably user error. These can be temperamental. Along with a secondary unit, it also comes with. There goes uh, some hardware. Okay. Nothing hardware. And a new sock. A new grip screw. All right, let's get these guys plugged in. There we go. It's all about that right angle. But the more and more I do it, the more confident I feel. All righty, some of the finishing touches. But when it goes on, it goes on just fine. It's already at temperature, so we don't have to wait. I'm just gonna let it completely extrude through its entire process without interrupting it. I found that the only time I've actually clogged this machine is when I was a little forceful with taking out the filament after it was done retracting. After I was done retracting it, I yanked on it a little too hard, I think. And I believe what that did was pull up a big old chunk of plastic at the very top of the heat exchanger. And this goes here, slides up, and back in its home, ready to start 3D printing. I'm compiling all my notes and workbooks into a single document as a comprehensive guide to 3D printing and CNC manufacturing. If you like what I'm doing and you want to support the channel, leave a comment below.